and welcome to Algebra 1, SOL Prep, Week 7, Solve Systems of Linear Equations. To solve a system of linear equations by graphing, there are three things that could happen when we see a graph. The solution will be the coordinate of the intersection point if the two lines intersect or cross. So in this picture, we're looking at the intersection point here, which is on the x axis to go over 3 and on the y-axis to go down 1. So 3, negative 1 is the solution. If the lines do not intersect or do not cross, they are parallel. That is no solution. And if the lines cross everywhere, they share all the points, they are the same line, there are infinite solutions. To solve a system of linear equations given the equations, such as this system, first we need to make sure that we rewrite both equations into standard form. We want to make sure the x's and y's are lined up before the equal sign and then have a constant. So for example, this is not in standard form. It needs to be rewritten into standard form. How do we do that? Well. Here's the equal sign. If I need to move that over, I'm subtracting 2x from both sides. So it gives me negative 2x plus y equals 4. In other words, change sides, change signs. It was positive over here. It becomes negative on the other side. So I'm going to use instead negative 2x plus y equals 4. And I remember that when I only have y, it means I have one y. Let's now go to the calculator and use the apps for this. So I'm going to press apps. I'm going to choose the fourth option. I need to press two because I have two equations, the simultaneous equation solver. So second choice. And now I need to press next, which is the button under it, graph. And I can plug my numbers into this system. So the first equation has a 4, a 5, and a 20, all of them positive. 4 before the x, 5 before the y, and then 20. Enter. The second equation starts with a negative 2, 1 y, positive 1 and ends with a 4. The constant is 4. Now we will press solve and it gives us our solution. x is 0 and y is 4. So we say write our answer as a coordinate point. We will write this one as 0 comma 4. To exit the app to do something else with our calculator, we'll press second mode, second mode. That quits out of the app. See the quit? Second mode, second mode. It quits out of the app. Now, if our screen looks like this, where these are equal, that means infinite solutions. If we have no solutions, it will say no solution found. How about word problems with systems of linear equations? Well, there are generally two types of word problems where you would need to create a system of two equations. Here's how to set it up. The one type is finding how many of each item. So for example, this problem says, the Sterling Beauty Salon offers manicures for $12 and pedicures for $20. Julia has so far spent $120 for her eight visits to this salon for either a manicure or a pedicure. <clears throat> Which system of equations could be used to find how many manicures and pedicures Julia has done at this salon? So when we say finding how many of each item, that's the type of question we're looking for. So you're going to be given the value, cost, or points of each item and the total quantity of the items. Notice in this question, it says the manicures are each $12, and they called manicures M. 
So where it says manicures, I'm going to put an M, and I notice that the 12 is next to the M. So that's the value of item 1 times the first variable. So that's the 12 gets multiplied to the M. Like it shows here, here, but not here, and not here. So choices C and D are out. Then it says pedicures are $20. So the value of the second item times the variable given, since pedicures is given as P, P here for pedicures, so that's 20P. Notice there's a 20P here and a 20P here. Then it equals the total value of the items. Well, the total value is, in this case, the money. Here's money, here's money, and this is her total amount of money. So we need to see all the money numbers together adding up to that total amount of money. So 12 is money, 20 is money, this is also money. So this would be the correct one because this one is not the total spent. So we know it cannot be choice A. Now just to make sure that the other part is correct, we also have the two variables added together is the total quantity of the items. Well, they said that she had eight visits to the salon. Some are manicures and some are pedicures for a total of eight. That's what this equation is showing. Choice B is the correct choice. Here's the second type of word problem you'll see where we need to find the cost of each item. Here you're given how many of each item for two different situations. For example, the Hamilton family and the Nguyen family are at a store that sells ice cream cones and popsicles. The Hamilton family got five ice cream cones and two popsicles for $14.50. The Nguyen family spent $8.50 for three ice cream cones and one popsicle. If C represents the number of ice cream cones and P represents the number of popsicles, which system of equations could be used to find the cost of each ice cream cone and each popsicle? So notice that we're finding the cost of each type of item. They gave a lot of information about money, so we're going to try to put each situation together. There are two different situations. First, the Hamilton family. The Hamilton family is the first situation. We've got five of the ice cream cones. So that would be 5C and two of the popsicles for a total of that much money, $14.50. So let's begin to look for that. I see 5C and two, whoops, P is the popsicles. 5C and 2P, and it needs to equal 1450. So far, it looks like this is the only one that does it. This has the numbers in the incorrect places. But let's keep reading. The Nguyen family, our second situation, spent $8.50 total for three ice cream cones, so that's 3C and one popsicle plus 1P. And remember that total was $8.50. Well, notice our other equation represents 3C plus 1P for 850. So now I know for sure that D is my correct choice. I hope you learned something today. Have fun practicing. See you next time.